Yeah, look, no pressure really. I think that's a question for Tony, not for myself. Um, every 23 player here trains every day, uh, whether that be on the field, off the field, and we're all ready at any given moment, whether called upon. Um, I think everyone knows their role on and off the field. And for me, I'm given a job um, and I'm trying to execute that. And everyone else has their job on the field. So I think we all know what we need to do. And yeah, we're all ready at any given moment, whether that be a game changer or a starter. Next, that was you. All right, anyone else? Dan, we'll turn off seven. Ellie Hyde, Team 4 7. Um, never fun conceding three goals. Uh, what's the, the feeling a couple of days later? Is it still stinging? Is there steel? What, what's, what's, the, what's the feeling about that game? Yeah, obviously it's not great to concede. Um, as soon as that whistle went, we turned that page on in that circle after the game. We wanted to park that performance. We obviously wanted to learn of what went wrong. Uh, we did that review straight after the game so we could get that out of our system, turn the page and full focus for Monday. Uh, you can't be dwelling on those performances because that just takes up mental drainage from the game. Um, as a back line, obviously, we have a job to do on Monday. Uh, we know what we need to do and um, fix up, I guess, those mistakes that happened that night. Tracy Holmes, ABC. Hi, it's Tracy Holmes, ABC. Um, you mentioned those mistakes um, uh, in the game against Nigeria. And I know that everyone afterwards who saw the miss game was really confident about just putting that behind and refocusing to kind of get your mind back on track. Uh, but in the analysis, uh, what did you come up with for the reason for some of those mistakes, which Lynn probably believed had, had gone out of your game, do we need it still back to the World Cup? Because you haven't done it done that. You haven't proved as a team with your confidence in each other and in yourself. Yeah, look, it's a World Cup. Anything can happen. I'm sure you've seen across the World Cup that so many thing, unexpected things have happened. Uh, when we did the analysis, we actually have played the best game in final third box entries we have in the last 15 games. And we created a lot of chances in attack. And obviously those things that went wrong, um, that's football. You know, we're not going to point fingers. We're not going to blame people. Uh, we all need to be better. We all need to take accountability of that game. We all have. We've learnt from that. And, yeah, things happen. It's football. It's not going to be a perfect match. Um, but we know that those things are obviously not acceptable and we're all turning a new leaf. And like I said, since that whistle went, all our focus is on Canada on Monday because we know what we need to do. Uh, hi, Ali. It's Stefan from Inside. It sounds as though Bennett has kind of adjusted her role with the 60 ball club to, you know, be on the pitch. She's taken more time to help her teammates as well. Um, has this change caused you experience having less time in camp and to have Booker kind of focusing on that role being still in there, you know, still one of her teammates on the bench? Yeah, Sam's obviously a great leader, a great captain, and having her on the other side, it's obviously unique for her. It's a different situation she's ever been in before. But I think for us as a team, we've really felt her there on the sideline. She's always been behind us, and obviously during training and off the field, on the field, and... I think also for her, us, we're all supporting her as well. And um, obviously, I'm really happy that she did put the boots on today and that she's available for Monday. Um, it's a massive boost for us to get, obviously, our captain, our leader, and such as a world-class player back in our squad. Any other questions? She's Sam. <laughs> <laughs> other questions from the floor? Preet, have you got any additional ones from outside? Yeah, Anna. Just with Sam knowing she's available, what's that do mentally for Sam? Because I imagine with that boost that you get, one, just with her quality, but also any sort of hanging over with just Sam, everyone sitting after Bennett, for her to just put her head in the puck and play, what does it do for you guys? Yeah, mentally it's massive, having more players available and having Sam obviously available. It's It brings so much to our team and obviously also a lot to the opposition knowing that we have Sam available for this game. So I think she's doing everything in her right to be, you know, herself on Monday. And we all as a team are really excited to have her back in the squad and, yeah, back on the pitch. Vince Rigari. Um, Rigari, ABC One Fan. Is that her first proper training session this week? 
Lord. Yes. Any more for any more? Marco. Uh, Marco from uh, Mitchell House, uh, Mary Fowler. Yeah, Mary's great. Um, she's recovering really well. She was on the pitch as well today. Uh, you know Mary, she's an amazing young player. She's, I would say she's quite senior in the team, to be honest. And the way she strikes the ball, the way she can change a game at any given moment, she's massive. Um, we really missed her the other night and I'm really excited that she will be back available for Monday. Um, she's a real, yeah, she's amazing to have on the field. Tracy? Um, just a question about what are you looking for your club to accomplish this season? Obviously, I know you've already said there's a lot of stuff that you guys go through as players with each other, but what about with the coach? Do you end up being accountable to the coach as well? Because um, he was pretty adamant with the other night also, and uh, I guess he has his own emotional roller coaster runner. So can you explain that sort of coach player role and if it inverts sometimes? Yeah, not really, to be honest. We have one or two meetings per day and some could be videos, some can be in groups. Um, but, yeah, he just tells us reviews and we take that on board and we don't really get into that much side of it for hi for his um, emotional state or state. So, yeah. Any more from us all? Questions about my, um, the Canada match on Monday particularly? Ellie's thoughts on that? I'll ask instead. Ellie, your thoughts about Monday's match against Canada? Played them twice last year. What are you thinking going into the match? Yeah, obviously it's going to be a completely different game to last year. Um, Canada are a world-class side and we have a job to do on Monday. Uh, we know what's at stake. We know what's on the line. And I know that it's going to be obviously a big game, probably one of the biggest games um, it has been from the World Cup due to what it's on line. Um, and I really think the crowd in Melbourne was going to be really important to help us get that and the crowds have been amazing um, in Brisbane we could really feel it those last 10 minutes and it was electric and I think Melbourne yeah obviously they'll be the same and Amy Park is a great stadium a great football stadium so we're all looking forward to the occasion and yeah like I said if I could have played the game yesterday against Canada I would have so I'm glad that it's um, a very short turnaround so we can just get get back on the pitch. Taylor? Sorry, Ellie, you did mention um, that in the review it was your best game for final third entries and um, thinking back to when you played Canada in Brisbane, that was a, a match where you really headed for Canada goal but just couldn't score. So what do you think will be tweaked and will be improved so that the quality of chance and the execution does improve? Obviously you're not necessarily going to be on the end of those chances but you may well play a role in creating them. So. Yeah, obviously having Sam available, having Mary available, they're two of our world-class strikers back in the selection selection pool, back in the squad. So I think having them coming into our squad is a massive boost. Um, and I guess at the end of the day, it, it's just being clinical in front of front of front of goal. And we know that's what we need to be on our A game on Monday night. Um, we need players to step up. We need players to rise to the occasion. Um, it's a pressure moment and. I know for a fact that we obviously have our backs against the wall and, you know, it's a do or die. And for us, I think we're better in that in those situations when we're the underdogs and we, you know, have everything to fight for. So, yeah, everyone needs to give their heart and um, no matter what happens, we have to stick together. Last chance. Perfect. Thanks, guys.